Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths which is dedicated to give you tips, tricks as well as math test problems. Okay, so if you are someone who likes to do math or you want to brush your mathematics skills then you won't believe I every single day on my channel there are four videos which includes all of them. Okay, so if you know someone who wants to increase their mathematics speed or who wants to brush up the mathematics skills or is a math enthusiast like me, then please share these videos to them as well as subscribe to my channel so that you are never missing any of these kind of amazing math problems. So today's question we have 4, then it is followed by 2, then it is followed by 2 and then we, this is something we should figure out and after that we have 6, then we have 15 and then we have 45. So now this is basically a series question. Now what does a series question expect you to do? They expect you to find a correlation which is common to all of them. Okay, this entire series is following that correlation. So now in this kind of a situation, what we should do? See, here we can see the series is increasing. Okay, and the difference in the first term and the last term is quite huge. So, obviously, there is something in terms of multiplication. If it is an increasing series, normally we are talking about multiplication. And which can be done. See, this is very easy. This is 15 into 3 gets you 45. 2 into 1 gets you 2. Sorry, 2 into 1 gets you 2. Okay. So, this much is sorted. But now what happens over here? Okay. So, now if you look over here, there can be, we will try to find a relation over here as well as here. Now, if you see, actually, when 4 divided by 2 gets you 2, or I can even say 4 multiplied by 1 upon 2 gets you 2. So, I can say 4 into 0 0.5 gets you 2. Correct? So, this can be written as what? Into 0 0.5. And this got multiplied by 1 means 0 0.5 got added by 0.5. So, maybe this we should multiply by 1.5 and this answer when multiplied by 2 should get you 6 and here we should have 2.5. Now, let's try and see what happens when you multiply 6 into 2.5. Yes, the answer comes out to be 15. So, our logic is absolutely correct. So, let's try and figure out what is the value of this question. 2 into 1.5, the answer comes out to be 3. And this when multiplied by 2 gets you the answer as 6. So our answer for this question mark is supposed to be 3. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.